Hey everyone, this is Keith. I am an analytics consultant at Intorix, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of small changes that you can make that can have a pretty big impact on your dashboard. Okay, so today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of changes that I made to take this pretty basic dashboard that I found on Tableau and turn it into this. One of the first changes that I often make when I'm working on dashboards is to increase the amount of white space or negative space that is in between some of the different charts. So if you think about a simple website like Google, I think all of the white space here tends to concentrate our eyes on the center, the most important part where we're figuring out what we want to search for. So white space has a way of narrowing your focus in on certain areas of things that are important. So if we take that idea of putting some white space around these, uh, different graphs. You can see that most of our white space in the current version is just around this map right here. But with a little bit of rearranging and adding a little bit of padding, we can get something that looks like this. And now we're starting to create a section on the left where you can start and get an overview, a section on the right where there's some more detailed uh, information. <clears throat> Another change that I often make to help create a sense of flow or to help focus people on certain areas is to employ a clearer font hierarchy. So here's an interesting example about where we tend to look. We focus on the biggest text first and then move on to smaller pieces of text. When all of the text is the same size, it's hard for us to know where to start and we can easily feel overwhelmed. But creating a clear hierarchy using different fonts, uh, colors and weight can help to focus people's attention as well. So if we take that example and uh, transfer those principles over to this visualization, we can end up with something like this, where our titles now have bigger fonts and bolder fonts. I've also accentuated the numbers uh, of the KPIs just to give people some immediate context as to what they're looking at before they dive deeper into the detail. In addition to white space and font hierarchy, sometimes I like to define different spaces in my dashboard. So something as simple as adding some background color or a border or a line in between things can help delineate uh, different sections of your dashboard and it helps people focus on certain areas uh, at a time, rather than feeling like everything needs to be consumed at the same time. In this viz, I also have a section on the left that is white and a section on the right that has a light gray background. And that can also emphasize primary and secondary spaces, which helps users understand you should start here and then move over to this section next. The last step that I often do is sort of multiple steps in one. So I'm kind of cheating by saying that it's only one step, but I basically go through my visualization or my dashboard and I try to take a look at what I can remove or what additional context I can add or small things I can change. So in this final version, I decided to put the filters in a show hide container so that they weren't taking up that primary real estate. I wanted to give uh, what you see immediately as, as much space as possible to the charts that you see. I also added some little bits of context. So I put in the date range that people are looking at so they immediately know what is covered in this dashboard. And I put this icon in an instruction to help people know that you can click on a state to filter the charts on the right-hand side, to get more details about uh, profit and sales in that particular state. <clears throat> Even things as small as aligning the text. So I made sure my KPIs aligned with my chart title on the right side. I tried to line up all this text on the left side here, and I even took this uh, line in between the KPIs and aligned it with this line in my dashboard. And those little things can help to create a sense of flow that make the visualization a little bit easier for people to read. <clears throat> so those are just a few tips that I usually take when I am trying to clean up a dashboard. Hope you found them helpful, and please feel free to check out the Interworks blog if you want more content like this.